Hello everyone, it is Monsi, and today we will be looking at some cheat codes for Tenchu 2, Birth of the Stealth Assassins. While these codes are nowhere near as meticulous as the debug menu in Tenchu 1, they are still worth trying out for personal entertainment. As a heads up, I will be showcasing the American version of the game, as I don't have access to the European or Japanese versions. Before we go over them, however, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be down below. Also check out my other Cheat Codes videos if you haven't already. Without any further ado, let's dive in. Cheat Codes when you first boot up the game, you can choose between Rikimaru or Ayame, but you'll notice that Tatsumaru is missing from the roster. This is because you must first unlock him by completing both Rikimaru and Ayame's campaigns. But if you want to unlock him from the start, then simply hold circle and square together and press R1, R2, L2, L1, up, down, left, right, select, and you will unlock Tatsumaru. Ordinarily, you would unlock missions one by one as the story progresses, but if you just want to have fun playing whichever mission you desire, then hold circle, square, and select together, then press right three times, up, left, down, then R2, and you will unlock every single mission for every character. Tenchu 2 is unique in its ranking system in that achieving the Grandmaster ranking does not reward the player with a new item, Instead, players looking to gain new items must find them throughout the level, a terrible decision if you ask me. If you wish to unlock all items from the start, then head into the item select screen just after picking a mission, then press square three times, circle, square, circle, circle, left, up, down, right, R2, R2. Then, to increase the number of these items, simply hold R1 and square and press right, down, left, up. Repeat this process until you have the desired amount. It's a bit tedious though, increasing the item count by one with each input, a flaw they would later fix in Tenchu Wrath of Heaven. The next cheat code is self-explanatory, full health. To do this, pause the game and then hold square and simply press left, right, up, down, and your health will be restored. However, this is the only cheat in the game that will punish you for using it by reducing your overall score when you complete a mission. One of the game's most acclaimed features was the mission editor. This allowed the player to create their own missions, including level layout, deciding which characters to place, and mission objectives. The last of these cheat codes are meant for the mission editor, which merely grants a few unique set pieces. The first of these set pieces is as follows. Hold R2 and circle and press up, down, down, right, left, left, and you will unlock some extra set pieces. Keep in mind you will have to be in the mission editor to do this, or the custom missions menu if you prefer. The second set of custom objects are office related. To unlock them, simply hold L2 and press circle, square, left, right, circle, square, and you will unlock some office related items to place in your custom mission. Bonuses In the post credit scene of Tatsumaru's campaign, amidst the destruction of a burning vessel, Suzaku is revived as Onekage and monologues about the Azuma ninjas being both a nuisance as well as entertaining. He reveals that he is waiting for his true master, Lord Mayo, the King of Hell, and the future main antagonist of the first game. Onikage himself would serve as a reoccurring villain throughout the franchise, with the exception of Tenchu Fatal Shadows and Tenchu Dark Secret. Fun Facts and Trivia in the fall of 2000, when Tenchu 2 first hit the shelves, the game altered Ayame's appearance to cover more of her legs as a form of censorship. The European version sought to censor the game even further by featuring less blood during assassinations, removing decapitations, and replacing the shuriken with a kunai because they are banned in the United Kingdom. Another example of this censorship would be the white light that shines on Lord Goda as he takes a slash to the back by a bewildered Rikimaru. Interestingly enough, the Japanese version also decided not to display Toda's headless corpse, but the American version does. A strange contradiction indeed. 
the Japanese version was given the most attention out of the three releases of Tenchu 2. This version saw further improvements graphically and technically, in addition to expansions to the level editor with new objects for level creation. Jubei Tachibana served as one of Lord Goda's vassals and is placed on the fire demon to eliminate the enemy when he crosses paths with Tatsumaru. The average player may not think twice about him and dismiss him as just another throwaway character for the protagonist to defeat. What most players probably didn't know is that he was the father of Hyakube Tachibana, a character who would not appear in the series until Tenchu 4. The most glaring pieces of evidence would be the eye patch, the syllables in their name, as well as sharing the same surname, Tachibana. During the production of Tenchu 2, mistrust and tension had built between Acquire and Activision over requests for changes, making working together increasingly difficult. The original game ended with Rikimaru presumed dead, so rather than face the problems resolving that issue, it was decided to make the game a prequel. This would later turn out to be a positive for the lack of character development in the story of the first Tenchu. That concludes all the cheats, secrets, and bonuses for Tenchu 2, Birth of the Stealth Assassins. Please correct me in the comments below if I need any sort of corrections. But if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be down below. I will see you all in the next video.